If you keep on hearing about how important breathing is for singing, but you have no idea on how to get started, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you why breathing is important for singing and how to improve your breathing for singing so you can get better in no time. Stick around until the end because I actually have a resource for you that is going to really help you connect your breath with your voice to make the most out of it and to improve your singing in no time. My name is Orgelina, I'm a vocal coach and I specialize in teaching adults how to sing contemporary singing from a holistic and integral approach. Your breathing and your voice are intimately connected and you can't work one without the other. Even if you're not working on your breathing, your breathing is still affecting your voice. In the process of singing, as a singing as a musical instrument, the air is the fuel of your voice and it affects it in many, many different ways. Today, I'm going to tell you three of them. The first one is the amount of air that you inhale and in the way you inhale, the way your body expands to breathe in, it's going to determine how much pressure you use to sing. If you breathe in adequately for singing, you are going to be able to use a low air pressure that is going to allow you to work on your vocal cords in a very differentiated way, which is going to make your singing much more effective. Secondly, the way you breathe in is going to activate different muscles. And if you activate the wrong muscles, they are going to get in the way of singing. For example, if you breathe in and you are activating a lot of accessory muscles, it's going to affect negatively your ability to work with your internal muscles of the voice in a differentiated way, rather than you overusing the external muscles to compensate for that. A third way in which your breathing affects your voice is actually the way you exhale. If your body is associating exhaling with threat, that happens when we tend to hyperventilate. That's called like low tolerance to CO2. If you have a low tolerance to CO2, when you have to sing things that require you to sing for a prolonged period of time, like holding low notes, your brain is going to perceive that as a threat and it's going to shut down your voice. Now, I've been talking about this thing that happens when your brain perceives threat, how your voice reacts to that. I talked about that in another video, so which I'm going to link for you in the description below as well. So go and check them if you're interested in knowing more about this. If you identify with some of the things I've been talking about, go ahead and comment. I would love to know. Now, an exercise that I would like to share with you today, this exercise is going to help you determine whether uh, you have more difficulty inhaling or exhaling. You're going to breathe in in eight counts, slowly connecting your breath with your movement of the arms while you're bringing the arms up. And then we're going to exhale by bringing the arms down in eight counts as well. And we're gonna try to connect the movement with the breath, which means we're going to inhale through the whole movement and then we're going to exhale through the whole movement. Very important. Pay attention. Is it easy to last the eight seconds in breathing? Is it possible to inhale slowly or do you inhale fast and then you can't inhale anymore? And when you exhale, is it possible to exhale slowly through the eight counts or do you need to exhale everything in one go? Let's find out. Let's do that together. Here we go. We inhale. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an exercise that can help you determine whether your breathing in needs a little bit of working or whether your exhaling needs a little bit of working. This uh, is an exercise that you can also use to balance those. The way you do it, if you're doing it for practicing, is same way you're breathing in eight counts, but then you hold for eight counts as well, and then you exhale in eight counts. You do this every day, and you are going to get better in no time. I hope you enjoyed that exercise. Please subscribe because I have a lot of content like this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.